looks like I'm gonna have to run to keep up with you. I'm doing pretty good. I had been having trouble falling, having falls, just coming, not even realize it. Feeling perfect one minute, and then I'd be down. She was having a lack of blood flow coming out of her heart. That's when they discovered that I had stenosis real bad. And with time, just like the joints in your body that shows wear and tear, and that's exactly what happened to Geraldine, is that her valve, after 84 years, it just didn't open appropriately. Here, so this is gonna be a great one. Not all parts of your heart are created equal. Your aortic valve is a really critical part. It sits at that point of the heart where when your heart, when your heart beats, the valve opens and it lets blood flow out to the rest of your body. <laughs> I'd have been out dancing already. <laughs> Geraldine is a vibrant 84-year-old woman who had had two prior open heart surgeries, which makes a third open heart surgery very difficult. So the transcatheter valve really opens up a whole nother option of therapies. It's still an operation and still a, a surgery, but it's much less invasive. A transcatheter valve means that we would bring you to the operating room, a hybrid operating room like this, and rather than going through your chest, we would go through your leg, but we would go up through your aorta to your heart, and instead of taking out the old valve and sewing in a new one, we actually, through a catheter, implant a new valve inside the old valve. It's a very complex procedure. You really need a good team of physicians, nurses, and operating room staff that really work well together. If ever there was a team sport, it's the Tavi world. We actually scrub together in a hybrid room where we've pushed a cath lab and an operating room together to make this sandbox where we both can play, if you will. It involves huge amounts of teamwork that most places don't have. Cardiologists that we've been working with over the years have just been a tremendous asset to us. What I find seems to be the most beneficial to patients here is, is the interaction of the team. We have been able to get this, uh, uh, gives us a jump start on a technology that we think would be a very important technology down the road. Which way are we going? Back to my so Geraldine is a great example of how somebody can benefit from this technology. So she was our first patient who received the valve and uh, her procedure went great. I feel good. I believed in all of them. A great, wonderful group of doctors and everybody that was part of that program. And everybody said St. Joe's is a wonderful place to go for your heart. I'd say excellent. <laughs>